Hello everyone, today I'm going to configure uh, and set up the Cisco CUCM 8.6. Last time I've installed the VMware and then I've installed the uh, CUCM. Now I'm going to configure it. Uh, first of all, we have to set up a DHCP server so that the phones can get an IPs. We can do that through the router, the switch, if we have Windows any of these machines. Today I'm going to use Cisco 2960 as my DHCP server so I'm going to configure this one. Uh, first of all I have to ex exclude some addresses. create the pool now call it voice network default and option 50 which is the TFTP server to point the phones to the TFTP server where they can download the load and all the required information option 150 IP Sorry. okay here we go all sets We can see the IP hex there is just be excluded. The IP default route and the uh, option 150. Okay, here are all the ports. I have pre-configured the ports that the phones are connected to to be switch port access. I have them set to VLAN, but actually I have removed the VLAN, they are not set to any VLAN. Okay. And here we have the CUCM. Before we start, we have to make sure that we activate the call manager service. Cisco call manager service and Cisco TFTP both of them we have to check them and press save it will be both will be activated then here I have to create my own my new uh, device pool if we go there there will be the default the default pool is default the default Cisco Unified CM call manager group is default the default region and the default date and time. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create my default uh, CM group region and date and time and start with a new one. This is what's preferred when you are working with the real environment instead of using the default. So first we can create the group. It's the default it has this UCM so what I'm going to do I'm going to copy this one and group and then again I set this one auto registration Cisco Unified to be this the auto registration instead of that one and then click save and if we go back to the list the TO underscore group is the default group. After that, I'll create the date time group. We have the CM local. Gonna create add new. Okay. Local. 
here I am GMT minus five central sorry Eastern and day 12 hours and if you want we can add an NTP which is this one I pre-configured this NTP and select add selected and save after the group we create region okay and add new region Here we're specifying this region, this section where you can specify the codec to be used between, if you have like two two offices, two different regions, you can specify how to communicate between the two regions. So I'm going to specify here to use the G, yeah, this one, and link to keep default keep current settings and save yep we see Toronto region 64 this is the okay now after we created all this we can just now go and create our new pool add new the name oh sorry here's the name pool and we're gonna choose our group yep choose the group search space keep everything we can share this later I'm gonna show you what we can do how to change and how we can use them date and time you use this region and I think it's all set keep everything to the default and save if there's an error we're gonna it's gonna tell us it's done oh, it's successful if we go to the list we'll see now our new group with the new options okay now if you go to the Cisco Unified call manager CCM8 okay here if you see it's, it's set up to, to register from to give auto registration from 1000 to 1020 so all new phones that will be added will be assigned extension between 1000 and 1020 now here if we look at the Cisco phone that we have we see that it's start rebooting and soon it will get all the information, the DHCP information from the switch we have, which it will point to the uh, CUCM server. And as we can see, the device is getting trying to get its IP address. It might go through a couple of boots before getting the IP and extension here we go the phone got its IP address 1002 and if we look at now we'll see here's the phone this is the IP address this is the device pool we created and this is the extension it's auto registered and thank you for watching the video